Cleveland city leaders are stepping in to help residents of a Shaker Square apartment building who say they're living in deplorable conditions and their landlord is ignoring them. Bree Buckley first told you about this story last night and now has the latest on this new development. We deserve a chance and the opportunity to have safe, affordable, and clean, decent housing. The calls to action continue at the residences at Shaker Square as tenants beg for better living conditions. That's, one whole thing I can hear That's all. This time, city leaders are joining the fight. This is probably one of the worst conditions that I've seen with an apartment building. And I can tell you that I am beside myself. I'm very angry. Cleveland City Council members are demanding change and accountability alongside tenants, calling the property owners, the Chetrick Group based in New York City, slum landlords, with some tenants saying they haven't had heat in two years. We have been in and out of that office. We have been lied to, deceived. All they say is, it's going to be fixed. The plumber's coming. We got the heating people coming. Oh, it's going to be ready. Council President Blaine Griffin says the city will seek a civil nuisance order for the building and push for receivership giving control to another entity. He wants stricter code enforcement and says during next week's budget hearing, council will discuss ways to support deteriorating large buildings like this one around the city. What's next is to continue to push this nuisance abatement action. Um, I'd like to get this the apartment out of their hands. And if they can't take care of it, then maybe we need to get it in the hands of somebody that can take care of it. Just after the meeting, residents showed us a new leak in the garage. That's in addition to the water damage throughout the building, mold, untouched damage in some parts, and unfinished repairs in others. I tried to ask the property manager about all the issues, Hi, we're with Channel 3. but had the door slammed in my face. Just similar to what tenants tell us they deal with on a daily basis. You get tired of when something happens and you call the numbers they say and nobody even answers. The owners have already been charged with multiple city building code violations. Councilwoman Deborah Grace says she bought a ticket to go to New York City to confront the property owners, but did not say when that trip will happen. Russ. Okay, Bree Buckley in the newsroom. Thank you. Of course.